the internet, I am the Brie of the Canvas and today I will be showing you the second of the four elements, water, which is going to be encapsulated with a magical mermaid onto the sketch. Alright, so for the base we are going to be doing um, some marbling, which is taking scumbling and then drawing some white squiggles on top. For marbling, I actually did it in my last video, Medusa, which you should really see, and there's a fly in this room! You're distracting me! Ah! And then we got a lot of stuff going on here. So we have a lot of colors, we have a fly, we have starfish on one eye, made a prosthetic for that, and then we have some seashells over the forehead, kind of coming down the cheek. So, let's get started. Fly, get out of here! Okay, so what I'm doing right now is um, taking my starfish prosthetic that I made out of liquid latex. You see all the little bubbly things on there? So I'm putting scar wax on the edge, making little snakes sticking on there, and then I'm taking my little spatula thing. You see it's kind of um, curved on the top, this really helps to scoop it or blend it into the skin. And then I'm just blending it on the sides. And then to seal this on and to help get rid of the stickiness so we can put makeup over it, I'm going to apply liquid latex onto that area. Is there the phantom of the ocean? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if the phantom was like a mermaid, he'd have the starfish over his eye, and he'd be like, instead of playing the piano, he'd be like, do like conga drums on um, the little clamps and everything, like in the little mermaid. <laughs> okay, I'm done being silly. No, I'm not. Alright, so we have the starfish on. Now we're going to do some she 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 seashells, she, she sells, she sells down by the seashore. We're gonna put some seashells on our face here. So I have some seashells that I already colored just to give it more of a magical, mystical kind of look. And I'm just gonna slap it on my face. Basically, we are just taking the ocean and we're just slapping it on. Slap everything. Just take some seaweed and seashells and slap and then you become a mermaid. That's how it works, right? All right, so for my bigger, heavier pieces such as this, I'm taking some scar wax and I'm putting it on the rim and I'm gonna stick it on my face here. It better work! It works! So then I'll just take my spatula and blend in everything that's oozing out on the sides. Yay! This is as big as my smile is. I, I can't do anymore. This is it, guys. Not smiling. Smiling. Not smiling. Smiling. That's it. Now it's time to paint on your face. I've always wanted a blue mustache. <laughs> I'm like a mermaid smurf. <laughs> the phantom smurf of the ocean. Ah! Now this takes a sea mask to the whole new level. Yeah! All right, so now we're gonna paint the prosthetic starfish. And then because this is the eyelid and it opens the closest and the makeup on the lid may wear off. You want to set with powder? You can just do a translucent powder or whatever. Or enjoy the shimmery goodness. Oh. You get the shimmery all around that starfish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And now to help set in the illusion that this is actually a starfish on your face and not just something that blends into your skin. See, here's a little story with this. This is the first prosthetic I made. What you're seeing right now is actually the underside of the prosthetic because that's where um, all the impressions of like the uh, little like craters and stuff really showed out. On the other side, it just looked bleh. So that's why it's kind of flat. That's why it curves outward. Take some blue and a little bit of black, make it a darker hue, and go around to create some shadows that looks like um, this is elevated on top of the skin. And there is your shadow. So the next step is to do the marbling, which is going to really get rid of this smurfish look. I mean, I love it, but the smurf needs to go. Now it is time to apply some Smurf Be Gone with some marbling. So for that you're going to take a few different colors. I'll be using pink um, and green and a little bit of yellow. And we're going to put that on just like random streaks of it around the face. Now either taking a paintbrush or a cheesecake or yeah, even your finger, you're just going to lightly blend these colors in together. And then you're going to take a white cream and do little squiggles. The squiggles, or what's going to be, this is what makes it marbling, are the little squiggles. For water ripples, you want to take um, a reference picture so that you're not just doing random things everywhere. The water ripples, they kind of all like have their, like, their grain, like they all go in one direction while still being kind of squealy beginning. Then to do this, what you want to do is take your brush, 
you want to gradually go in and out. So you kind of want to go above, lightly get the skin, and as you go down, you really make contact and lightly lift it. What's uh, great about this is the light will kind of pick up the colors down below so it doesn't look like just white little snakes on your skin. So that will help blend it in. Also, I'll take a cheesecake and just kind of blot on top to help really feather it in. And then you just smear on some purple lipstick and glitter and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hoped you liked this video. If you did, please click that thumbs up button down below. Also in the description, I have links for my Ariel Flounder mashup, which is kind of like another mermaid look as well as my Medusa look. I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye!